Today's story is The Three Snake Leaves. The Three 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 Snake Snake, you know? Snake Leaves Leaf one, two, three. Okay, the leaf, you know, tree leaf. So the three snake leaves. Two leaf. One leaf, three leaves. Okay. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a man, there was a man, he was an old man, he was an old man, I don't know how old he was, but he was a poor man, he was a poor man, poor man means he didn't have money, he had a son. Well, he had a son, but this son was not really old. This man was an old man, but he was a young man, okay? So, he had a young boy, a son, okay? A boy, son. He was, this boy was this old man's only son, okay? Only son. He was an only son. But this man was a poor man and he, he no longer, okay, no longer, he no longer could support him. Support him, support. Support means give him food and give him a place to live and, and you know, support him, give him education and stuff like that. So this old man, his father, could not support him, support the boy anymore. No longer support the boy. Well, what happened is that the boy the boy is not really a boy, boy, a small boy. I bet he was about 18, okay? He said to the father, to his father, I know things are going badly, badly with us. Go badly with us, okay? I know the things are going badly with us. Meaning, meaning we don't have money and we are hungry and when we are sick we can't go to a doctor and he said I know things are going badly with us okay and he said I know I am a trouble for you okay I am a trouble trouble I am a difficulty Difficulty. I'm a difficulty for you. I am, you know, because you have me, you have a difficulty. I'm a trouble for you. I'm a difficulty for you. I'm a problem. You know, to you, I am a problem. He said, I am so sorry, Father. I am a problem to you, problem for you. He said, I am a burden. Burden. Burden means heavy weight, heavy load on your shoulders. Okay? Burden. Okay? Yeah? I am a burden for you, he said to Father. So the boy said, Father, do not worry. I am leaving. I will leave and see 
if I can make my own living. I'll see if I can make money so that I can buy food for myself. You don't have to worry about me anymore. He was sad. He did not want, he was sad. He loved his son. He did not want him to go away, but he said, if I stayed here, you have to buy food for me. And so he said, I will leave. I will go away, he said. He said, goodbye, father. I will go away. Oh, the man was sad. Father was sad because this boy was his only son. But there was no choice because he didn't have any money. And so he said, he said, son, I hope you'll be fine. He gave the boy his blessings. You know, blessings means, I hope you'll be okay. I'll pray, pray for you. He, he gave him his blessings and with a lots of lots of sor sorrow, with, with great sorrow, great sorrow. Sorrow is a sad feelings, you know, the painful, okay, sad. He said goodbye to his son with great sorrow, okay. So the boy left the house. Now, the boy, the young man, he, you know, it's, it's always like this. He was walking, he was walking, and he came to a big city, and there was a castle, okay? There was a castle. And then there was a king, you know, yeah, it's always the same. There was a king. This king was fighting against his enemy. He needed soldiers, soldier. He needed soldiers. And so he enlisted, enlisted. Yeah? He enlisted in the king's army and he became a soldier, okay? Now, he became a soldier and he went to fight. He went to fight. This king had a, a strong, big empire. He had a great country. But his enemies, his enemy was strong too. And so there was this big war. There was a battle. Battle. Battle means fighting, you know. Bang, 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 bang. There was fighting. Now, there was a battle, and soldiers, many, many hundreds of hundreds of soldiers, and enemies had many, many hundreds of soldiers, okay? And then they fought. But, you know, the enemies, I don't know what they did. They fired his, their guns. And then uh, the young man, he was right here. Let's see. This young man was right here, okay? But his friends, his um, soldier friends, the people who were fighting with him, okay? His comrade, comrade, comrades. Comrades means the people who are who were fighting with him, the uh, uh, fighting um, friends, yeah, soldier friends. His comrades were all many, many, uh, many, many, many of them were killed. Um, and then finally, there was a leader. Okay, there was an army captain. Army captain was killed. And then his comrades were afraid and so they all went, wanted to run away, run back. But him, this, this uh, youth, okay, his youth was standing here and he said to his comrades, no, no, we cannot go back. 
he said. We must fight, he said. We cannot uh, have our country ruined. We must win, he said to the, his uh, uh, comrades. Yeah? And then they turned around and they pressed on. Press on means went forward with lots of lots of courage. They pressed on. Although it was very difficult, they just went tum, 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 pressed on. Okay? They pressed on and finally they conquered. They won. They conquered the enemy. Okay? They conquered the enemy. You know what enemy is? Conquered. They conquered enemy. Enemy. Enemy means, I think this is the way how it's written. The enemy. I think enemy. Okay. And so they, they, uh, they won. They had a victory. Now, they came back. They came back to the castle. They came back to the castle. And they told the king, they told the king how this young man was a leader. Even though the leader, the army captain was, was, you know, was shot and killed, this man was very brave and he is the reason, he was the reason why they won the war. You know, they said to the king, the king was very, very happy. He, he said, thank you very much to this young man. Oops. He said, thank you, thank you to this old, the, to the man. He said, the victory, 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 victory is because of you. We won the war because of you. And he said, I will give you a uh, lots of money. I will give you a good position in the in the in the um, in the castle. Okay, in the in the ranking of the uh, uh, jobs. You know, he, I'll give you a good job, good place in the castle, and uh, you. I will give you a uh, lots of money. He said. Okay. Now. This king, and so the boy was fine, okay. Now the king had a princess, a daughter. He had a princess. He had a princess. This princess was very beautiful. She was very beautiful, but she was a little bit strange. She was a little strange. She was a little bit unusual. She was unusual. Um, she said, she said, if I marry, if I marry, you know, if I get married, she said, I want my husband to love me forever. I want my husband to love me, only me. And so she said, if I ever die, okay, if I ever die before my husband, when I am buried, under the ground, or I, when I die, I am buried, okay, buried, you know, buried. When I'm buried under the ground, as the, you know, when I, you die, you are buried under the ground. Now, she said, if I ever die before my husband dies, and if I am buried under the ground, he, she said, my husband must come down with me to to the, uh, you know, she must, he must be buried with me under the ground 
she said. Okay? She said, if he loved me, why would he like to live without me after I die? I'll, I, I will, when I die, I will not be around. And so he won't be happy without me, and therefore he should die with me too. She said, okay? And so nobody wanted to marry her. Nobody had the courage to go and say, I want to marry you. And nobody was willing to die with her when, if she died or before he died. And so nobody, nobody wanted to marry her. But this youth, okay, this young man, well, now he has a good job and he's got a money and he was living well and he met uh, this princess and he fell in love. He wanted to marry her. And so he went to the king, you know, because they were good friends now. He went to the king and he said to the king, I want to marry your daughter, he said to the king. And then the king, he liked him. King liked him very much, you know, because he's the one who won the war. And so the king said to him, are you sure? Do you know what you are getting into? You know, if she dies before you die, then you'll have to die with her. Is that all right? And he said, it's okay. I will do it. I promise. I can do that, he said. He said, "Father." the, the king said, but you're not dead, so you will be buried alive. Okay, you, you are alive, but you have to be buried with her. Is that all right? Okay. Well, nobody wanted to marry her because everybody was frightened. Nobody wanted to be buried alive, and so everybody was frightened. And so up to this time, nobody wanted to marry her. But he was very, very in love with her. He was charmed. He was charmed with her beauty. He was charmed. He was charmed with her beauty. Okay, with her beauty. And so he said, okay, he will do it. So finally, the king agreed. Okay, the king said, okay, you get married to her then. He consented. Consent. Consent means agree. He agreed. He consented. And so, quickly, this man, young man, and the princess, they got married. And there, there was this beautiful wedding party with great splendor, with a great luxurious, they had a luxurious wedding. And they were, they lived, they, they got married, okay? They got married and they lived in this castle very, very happily together. They were living happily together in the castle. But the princess got sick. And guess what? She died. Now, because she died, uh, lots of people, lots of doctors came, but then the, nobody could help her, and so she died. So there, she's dead. She's dead and lying on the, on the, on the, on the bed. And the king came and said to him, do you remember what you promised? Now we are going to bury her but you have to go with her. Oh, he remembered what he had promised and he wasn't sure if he wanted to do it, but he couldn't escape because everybody was watching her. The soldiers I mean, were watching him and soldiers were watching him. He could not escape. Well, because she was a princess, 
what happened was that they, um, they it was not like the uh, regular burial, you know. In, regularly, okay, there's a coffin and the dead person, and there is a dirt, you know, the dirt, and then they put the uh, uh, the the uh, a tombstone on the grave, yeah. But it wasn't like this because she was a princess. What happened was that. Uh, let's see, mm, like this, they they made a they made a uh, they uh, made a, a a room a space underground, and there was a door. Okay, there was a door here. Okay, and um, there was the steps to go down there. I don't think it was that long. Let's see, maybe it stops for go like this. Okay, well, I'm not doing it right. But anyway, there was steps. Okay, something like that. And so they come down. Now, there was a coffin. Coffin, yeah? Coffin. In this space. It's, they call it, they call it a vault. Vault. V A U L T Vault. Okay? It's a small space. And there was a coffin. She lied down there. Okay? And there was a table. And on the table, there were four bottles of wine. Four bottles, bottles of wine, four loaves of bread, okay, and four can candles. Can, can doll, four candles. So there were four candles and four bread, four loaves of bread and four bottles of wine. Now, the coughing was carried in and he had to come down. He had to come down, okay? He had to come down and he come, came down and the door was shut. Okay, the door was closed and Outside the door, there was a soldier guarding, okay? There was a sentinel. Sentinel is a, a, a guard, it's a guarding soldier, okay? It's closed, it's bolted, it's locked. He can't, and he came down into this space. Now, he looked at the dead princess. He looked at the four bottles of wine and four loaves of bread. And he looked at the four candles. And he thought, after he finished eating the bread, after he finished drinking the wine, then he would be dead. So every day, he ate a little bit and every day he drank a little bit of wine because he didn't want to die. But he knew he, he would be dead soon after the food is gone. After the, let's see, after the, after the, um, provision. After the provision, provision, provision is food and drink, yes, food and drink supplies, food supplies. After the provision is gone, he knew that he will be dead, okay? His life will come to an end. He was sad because he was still young. I don't think he was even 30 years old. He was still young. He had full of pain. 
he felt so much pain in his heart, in his heart. He was sad. Uh, he, he was full of grief. He was full of grief. 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 Sadness. He was full of grief. He drank a little bit, but nevertheless, the death was coming closer and closer. Death drew nearer. But he sat here and he was watching the dead princess. He was gazing, gaze, okay? He was gazing attentively. He was concentrating and he was gazing at the princess. Then, suddenly, isn't that interesting? Always something happens. Suddenly, from the crack, from the crevice, from the crack, you know, from the little hole, came a snake. A snake came into the into the vault, okay, into the room. Snake. Snake came into the vault and came closer and closer to the dead princess's body. Corpse, okay, dead body. And then he was watching it and he thought, oh no, the snake is going to come it start biting the dead body. The snake is going to eat. Snake is going to gnaw. Where do I have it here? Here is, yes. This is gnaw. No, I'm sorry, no. This is no at, no at princess. Okay. He did not want the snake to uh, bite the princess, so he stood up and he took his sword, okay, sword, he took his sword and he cut the, uh, the snake into three pieces, bang, bang. I think that's enough. Three pieces. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. Or maybe, I think, I don't think he cut the uh, snake into three pieces, although the text, I think, it said three pieces. I think what he did was he cut the snake at three places. Three places. Bang, bang, bang. And then snake was dead. Then, as soon as the snake was dead, Another snake came out. Another snake came out. And when the, the other snake, you know, this, this snake is dead. This snake is dead. And then another snake came, came, and this snake saw the other snake was dead. This, the second snake right, went, right went back. Went back and came back. The snake came back. And it came back with three uh, leaves, three green leaves, okay? Three green leaves. And this snake put one, one leaf right here, the others, um, uh, another uh, leaf right here, and in the last leaf right here, and they, the, this snake put the three leaves uh, to the places where the, uh, the man cut the snake, at three places. Then, immediately, the snake became, became alive. The snake opened its eyes, opened its eyes, and the snake was fine. And so these two snakes turned around and went away, okay? Now, these 
these snakes left three green leaves behind. Right, and so he picked it up and he thought, maybe I can help the princess. So what he did was, he had his princess sleeping. I'm not sleeping, she's dead. She's, she's dead. And so what he did was, he put the three leaves, one here, and one here, and one here. He put the three leaves on one, one of the three leaves on her, on her face, on her uh, mouth, and two leaves on her eyes. And then immediately, her cheek became red, and she opened her eyes. She opened her eyes, and she smiled, and she said, Where am I? What am I doing here? She said. And she sat up. She, oh, she, she sat up. Okay, she sat up. Oh, I'm not very good at this, am I? She sat up. She sat up. She sat up. Okay? So, the man, the, the, his, her husband, he gave her, he gave her something to eat and something to drink. And she became fine. She was very fine. And so, after a while, they went to the, they went to the door and they bang, 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 banged, knocked the door from inside. And then the sentinel opened the door, opened the door, and he was surprised that the, uh, the two were alive. The princess was alive. And so the sentinel went back to the castle, and the king came, and he was happy that the princess was alive. And so, um, and, you know, everybody was happy. Everybody was happy that she, the princess, came back alive. Now, the king said to the princess, "Now remember that your husband, your ne." The king said to the to the uh, princess. King said to the princess, "Remember, your husband went to uh, the vault." Uh, uh, when you died, he was willing to die for you, he said. And the princess said, I understand. However, when she came back alive with three snake leaves, something happened, happened to her heart. Something happened to her heart. She no longer loved her husband. She felt nothing for him. She didn't like him anymore. So he wasn't happy. She wasn't happy. And, and the, the marriage life was very, very unhappy. Well, one day, the young man said, he said he wanted to go back to his father to find out you know, his hometown, to find out what he, his father would be doing, uh, he, his father was doing. And so uh, they went, I don't know why, but they went to the sea, and they got on the ship, and they sailed to go back to his home country. Okay? Now, on the ship, there were, I mean, there were lots of people. I'm sure there were cooks and and you know the maids and stuff like that because this is you know young, a younger prince and princess, but there was there were many people there and then this uh, uh, the young man now he was a young king or young uh, uh, prince, he had a um, 
a, a servant. He had a servant whom he trusted. Trusty servant, okay? He had a servant that he trusted. The man, uh, the young prince, or this youth, yeah, gave him the three uh, snake leaves and said, keep it. Maybe we'll need it. Maybe I'll need these three leaves someday. So keep it safe and also carry the leaves with you, the, the youth said to the trusty servant. So on this ship, there was this uh, uh, young man, okay, and the princess, yeah. The young man had the, uh, the uh, servant. And then there were other maids and stuff like that, and, you know, cooks and things like that. But there was also a man who was a skipper. Skipper. Skipper means sea captain, uh, ship captain, captain of the ship, okay. The, you know, the, the leader of the ship, captain of the ship. So, captain of the ship was there, and these were people were there on the ship. Well, the princess. The princess, I told you, princess did not love her husband anymore. The princess, princess, princess began to have sweet feelings for the skipper, okay? Princess had this wicked inclination. She had a very bad idea. She had a very immoral, not moral, unethical. She had a wrong desire. She had a desire for the skipper. She had this wrong inclination. She was inclined to, to like this one, like, like this man. So she had a wrong desire to be with this skipper. And he, he, she no longer loved her husband. And so one day she said to the skipper, should I write skipper here? She loved the skipper. Skipper. Mm -hmm. okay? And so she said to him, let's kill my husband. Let's drop him into the sea. We'll kill him. And then you and I will go back, turn around and go back to our house, our castle. And she said, I will tell my father how wonderful you are and I will praise you I will I will praise you I will extol you extol extol is praise very very much enthusiastically praise praise you in front of him so that I can marry you and you'll be the next king she suggested this to him. And so, when her husband was asleep, these two people came, and she took the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, her husband's head, and the other one, the skipper, took the, uh, uh, the husband's legs, feet, and then they carried the man, and then bang! through the youth into the sea, okay? And then she said, let's turn around and go back. Well, the trusty servant was watching. He thought, what is this? How terrible. And so he took a boat, he threw the boat, he jumped into the boat, or he lowered himself into the boat, and he rowed and rowed and picked up the dead body, picked up the dead body of the uh, young man, yeah, 
And then what he did was, remember, he, the trusty servant, had three snake leaves. And so, the, his master is dead, yeah? His master is dead. But he took out the three snake leaves and put the snake leaves on his mouth and on his eyes. As soon as he did this, the man woke up, the youth woke up, and youth woke up, and he said, what happened? So the trusty servant told him what these two had done to him, and he was not happy. He said, let's go back to the castle. And so these two, okay, these two, rode the boat, rode the boat very, very quickly and very, very fast. And then, I don't know how it was possible, but these two came back to the castle before these two people uh, uh, on, on the ship could come back to the castle. Yeah? Now, these people came back to the castle and the king said, King said, what happened? He said, why are you not with my daughter? He asked the young man. Well, the young man and trusty servant explained. The king couldn't believe it. How could she do things like that? After you restored you, you know, after he, after you uh, brought you back from death, after you brought him, brought her back to life, how could he, how could she, my daughter, could do things like that? He couldn't believe it. But then he said, hide yourselves in my secret chamber. Chamber is a room, secret room. He said, I have a secret room. Hide yourself. Uh, be, go there and hide in that room until my daughter comes back. Okay? Now, a few days later, the princess and the skipper came back. And so the, uh, the king asked, Where is your husband? What happened? Why did you come back so early? And then the princess said, Oh, father, she said. She acted like she was very sad. She had this very sad uh, countenance, ex facial expression. And she said, Oh, father, she said, we had a very bad uh, experience. My husband became sick on the ship. And Skipper is the one who helped me. And without Skipper, I wouldn't have been able to come home. My husband is dead, and we threw him into the water because he was dead. That's what she said to the father. The father said, uh, your father said, um, well, did you say your husband is dead? And she said, oh yes, my husband is dead. And then the father said, the king said, well, the dead man came back alive. And he called the, uh, the, the youth and the servant and said, come out here. And so the two people came out. Yeah? Let's see, here is the king, and then here's the princess. And then two people came out. And then princess, when she saw her husband, she was thunderstruck. Thunder means, you know, bang, 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 bang. Thunderstruck means she was surprised. She was thunderstruck. And she fell down on her knees. She said, oh, please help. Please, please forgive me, she said. Forgive me, pardon me, excuse me, 
please pardon me, forgive me, she said to the king and her husband. But the king said, no pardon, no forgiveness, he said. He said, he, your husband, restored you to life and helped you to come back alive. Restore, restore. Your husband restored you to life, but you murdered him. Murder. Murder means kill. You murdered him when he was asleep. When he was asleep, you murdered him. He said, you are going to receive your reward. You are going to receive your punishment, he said. Then he said, I will, um, ex I will uh, prepare, prepare a ship. I will prepare a ship for you. You, the king said to the princess, you and Skipper, you and Skipper, you, princess, and the speaker, speaker, get on the ship. This ship has holes. Hole. Okay? This, this ship has holes and uh, holes in them. Uh, you get on it and you sail away into the sea. He said to the princess. So the princess and the skipper got on the ship and they sailed away. And guess what? Because, because this ship had holes, okay? Um, water came in, water came into the ship and the ship began to sink. You know, do, 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 began to sink. And there was a wave, wave, waves, okay? There were waves in the sea and the ship sank in the middle of the waves. Amid, amid the, amid the waves. So in the middle of the waves, the ship sank. And so the princess died. The end. <laughs>